All right, YouTube, are we good? Dude. Testing, testing. All right, looks like we're good. Awesome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dan Meg, aka Colin. Welcome to tonight's Just Chatting stream. Anyways, today is Friday. I'm very happy about that. I think everyone loves Friday. Hey, there you are, Green. You're first today. Thanks for coming in, buddy. By the way, I think I saw one of the comments. Did you switch an account or something? Maybe that's just me. But anyways, welcome. What are we going to do tonight? That is a good question. Well, I am going to be playing another horror game. I know, right? <laughs> hey, Wrecker, what's up? Good to see you. What are we playing tonight? Another Chilia Arts game. Another horror game. Except this time we'll be taking place at a convenience store. So we're going to be a cashier, I believe. And it's the same artist that made that train simulation game that I had so much fun playing. So I'm going to be going back to he, uh, going back to his um, <laughs> his little story arcs. This is kind of like that uh, fears to fathom one, except this one. I guess you can say the graphics are a little bit better. Maybe the controls are a little bit better. Maybe where the other one is kind of like focused on reddit this one i guess you can say it's more of more of his vision hey nanta good to see you buddy look away so tonight we're gonna be playing one of these oh speaking of which i was gonna play sub dive uh hell divers 2 with you today we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow but mainly because i think i might have to go get another monitor nothing wrong with my current monitor but it's my second monitor and today I was actually editing some videos for DaVinci in from uh, DaVinci Resolve. And unfortunately what happens is that it crashed a couple of times, quite a lot actually. And it's starting to really piss me off. So I went back and checked and it turns out that the video I was editing was pretty completely gone. I uninstalled DaVinci Resolve and then only to reinstall it again, same thing happened. Ah, okay, no worries Wrecker. So what happened was guys is that apparently my mo my main monitor is good but my second monitor is too old and also I think I might need to get I don't know another kind of cable display ports whatever they're called cables apparently if you're doing video software or playing these games that require a lot of CPU GPU processing power it's better to get really good monitors with high frame rate and also, instead of using HDMI cords, uh, you have to use display cords for some reason. Again, I'm not an expert on this, but this could be another reason why maybe Quest 3 wouldn't work with, with my computer, even though my computer is 100% perfectly fine. So it might either be the display port and or the second monitor. So I will go back to Micro Center tomorrow. Upgrade my monitor, that's for sure. The cables, definitely for sure. And then maybe, if they allow me, <laughs> buy another VR set, headset. And if that's the case, we can actually play VR. Because I know you guys have been looking forward to that. And the first game, if, if, if it works tomorrow, obviously. I did promise Loaf and everyone that I would be going back to VR chat for one more try. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And it might, might even be the end of Community Nights. I'm not sure about doing Roblox, but... You know what? VR? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Any particular VR set? Quest 3. I think it's the only one that I think is makes sense for me. I thought about getting a Quest 2, which is about $300 instead of the $500 one, which is Quest 3, but I didn't see really the point, you know? Um, I, I might as well spend a good amount on a quality one. And 500 is a good good amount but it's not like a thousand which with the um with the with the steam with the steam one i forgot what index that one that's what it's called so that's what i figured um i got a lot of games i want to play on vr both good and bad good as in i really don't want to uh good as in hey it's gonna make good content bad as in it's gonna make me piss my pants a lot 
You can also play Roblox on VR too. I see. I'm sure a lot of these games can play VR, but that's why I decided not to get the PlayStation 2 VR, mainly because I heard that it's, uh, well, obviously it's mainly for PlayStation, right? So you're locked in. But the meta for what it, the prize is offering is that it can actually work with desktop as well. By the way, record, um, you don't only, uh, the VR, you can use it to watch 2D videos. I've, I've used it for, I've used it on YouTube and I saw 360 videos and I saw 4K videos. Very good, very incredible. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be super, super realistic, but it's getting there. It's getting quite close. Not close enough, but it's close. So the technology will be moving forward, but I think that in order for VR to be a little bit, to transition to full VR a little, makes it a little bit better is that it has to work with regular 2D games. If I only use a VR to play only 3D games, I don't think it's worth it unless you're a content creator. But if you can use it to watch movies and 2D, give it a little bit more of a more, give it more, more of an immersion that I think it might be worth the money as of right now. For $500, yeah, why not? If it's like 1000 3500 like Apple, then unless you have a big checking, uh, check a, checking account, then I'm not so sure for the average people. Just to see if it works? Yeah, yeah, I know. And again, I can't, uh, it's a big investment for me because if it does work, I'll have to get the lens prescriptions for the VR because playing it with glasses is really, really bad. Um, I'm not sure if it's even good for your eyes, you know. But other than that, I'm hoping that it works because Alien Isolation is one, FNAF is another one, uh, Alix, I believe, Half-Life is another one, I believe. By the way, I've never played Half-Life, guys, because I know it's it's a big, big, it's a one of the classics. Can I even put VR gl with glasses on? I did. I actually tried it. It doesn't feel very good because it really pushes the side of my glasses right here into where my eyeballs are. It doesn't feel good. I've only had it on for like maybe 30 minutes before I had to take them off because it's really leaving a print right here. If you're not careful, like the side of your glasses right here can actually scrape the side of your nose. So again, if you're playing VR and you have wear glasses like me, then I definitely say that uh, getting prescription for those VR, for that particular VR is, it's not, it's, and that's, it's a necessity, so it didn't feel good. Yeah, I mean, you get kind of get used to it, but it's still, it's like get, it's like something pressing against your face. I guess you can say you get used to it, but it, it does not feel good. Period. And that's all I can say about that. <sighs> but anyways, yeah, record. I'll try to go to Micro Center tomorrow, and I'll give you a, I'll give you a, you know, PlayStation VR. <laughs> he does. Well, I'm not sure if he wears glasses. I know I can play FNAF and other games on VR via PlayStation, but that's the thing, though. I, I really don't want to buy some, some, uh, something so expensive just for one particular platform. You know, he doesn't VR? Man, sorry. Well, I don't think he plays, you know, horror games. Maybe FNAF. He doesn't wear glasses? Ah, I see. But either way, it is what it is, you know? I, I can't complain, and it, it's just how everything is. Hey, Shuyin, welcome. Good to see you. Looks like you do prefer watching me on Twitch, then. That's fine. At least, by the way, guys, I got my internet sorted out. It's going to be 1080p, 60fps, um, all that. He does actually play VR FNAF. He does. <laughs> Maybe I should start playing all of my games on VR, if that's the case. It, may, it would make an interesting experience. I wonder what that's going to be like. That way you guys can see my face, or at least half of it. But man, it's a big, it's a big commitment though. Hey Sam, good to see you. Been a while. Good to see you again. All the way from Australia, I see. Yeah, I was actually just looking back on my old videos because all these streams that have been taking up a lot of space in my computer, I had to delete some of them. And I went all the way back to when I first started streaming. Wrecker was there, you were there of course, Crack was there, and man, um, 
it goes to show that back in the day i only had like one or two to like three or four <laughs> ah man it, those were the days now that i don't appreciate everyone here of course yeah the stream right now is 1080p and 60 fps hey shrady welcome looks like you're on twitch also <laughs> Uh, Chili Azard, yeah, I really, uh, I really do enjoy this particular um, developer. It's, I think it's better than Fa Fears to Fathom, because the story, although differentiates a bit, I think the controls maybe for this one, for this particular game, might be a little bit better. Hey, Shreddy, welcome. That was fun back then, still, but you can't remove memories. Ig, yeah, it's, it's on YouTube forever. It's hot over there? Is that so? Hey, love. No worries, no worries. Tell them I said hi. By the way, tomorrow I will be trying VR again, or at least VR chat. I think it has to do with my connection cable and my monitor. So I'll be getting those. And if that's the case, I will be getting a VR headset as well, just to give it one last try. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. How is that cold? Or is, how is that hot? That's like a summer thing. That's 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 winter. That's that's spring. That's spring for me, man. And then with having recreated the entire Entertail map, I also did the same thing with the FNAF game location. Jeez, you are one dedicated guy, Shrady. You are sweating, Wrecker, my man. You're sweating in 60 degree weather. Unless you're playing basketball or some kind of sports. I don't know how you can just sweat in that in 60 degree weather. I mean, that's good. Is that right, Shrady? Well, I look forward to playing it. I would love to play more. I, I really enjoy a lot of these indie horror games right now. I think horror games in general, if you think about it, triple A games, the only one I can think of right now is either Silent Hill, Resident Evil, or Dead Space. And they only came out like, what, earlier last year, I think? But there's not a lot of them. I, I mean, there's like maybe Alan Wake and the other ones, but at the same time, it's one, they're expensive and they're more, I don't know. I think I find these atmospheres for these from these indie horror games um, a little bit more interesting, you know. You die in Kyoto when it was 106. Yeah, it's not only hot during the summer in Japan; it's also humid as well. <laughs> I did not know that, Shrady. Is it hot in Germany? Wouldn't know. Yes, they have a certain charm to them. I think right now, that's why I decided to stick to... I really like the the Steam platform. I know I'm late to the game, but man, uh, I can't wait to actually maybe see some mods and play. And I'm really addicted to, to more of these games. Usually, if it's, I'm just sticking to PlayStation 5 and going back and play the older AAA games, it's kind of like, eh, it is what it is. But with these indie games, I can play it day in and day out and have a fresh new experience because there's so many of them and it's awesome i had to go drink five every five seconds well that's just japan i wish i can go uh i wish i can i wish i can uh, go visit kyoto or that's probably my the one city i really wanted to um visit in japan not tokyo not hokkaido but kyoto because if you're in kyoto you might as well visit osaka that they, it's called like the kitchen of Japan or something like that. Really, really cool place. I, I want it. If there's something that lacks in the West, specifically, I say you can say the US is that I really, if you go to Europe, it's it's that night market where every, like one shop, like one of those food carts and everyone sells one or two particular items. They're really, really good. It could be cotton candy. It could be hot dogs. It could be burgers. It could be fried chicken. And when you and your friends go to the night market over there, it could be like bowl of noodles. You can just take your pick on whatever you want. And because there's so many shops, it's like $3 here, $5 here, $2 here. And it's just so fun and so delicious. Well, you are you are in Poland record, so I understand that. Night market, Stardew reference. Well, I mean... <laughs> Night market is probably the, one of the most common thing you can have in Asia. It's in Japan, it's in China, it's in Korea, almost 
Vietnam, Thailand, whatever. It's nothing more than just uh, during nighttime that when people get off work, so kind of like our happy hour, going from like six or seven food vendors set up shop on the street, and then they just sell whatever they are good at. It could be desserts, it could be savory, um, it could be anything. You know, it's just things on the stick, wings, on, uh, chicken on the stick, hot dog on the stick, whatever it is, and it's really, 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 really cool, and it's rather cheap. I mean, obviously, you can't do it in the West, mainly because of the regulation. There's a reason where if I set up shop on the side of my street or, I don't know, a Girl Scout or something like that, set up a lemonade and she's just selling whether it's homemade lemonade or canned lemonade, um, the cops would come in and unfortunately shut it down due to licensing, health regulation, a bunch of BS, red tapes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, in uh, New Zealand, right? Yeah, I know, Shirian. So that's the one thing I really, you don't really get here in the West. I know there are some parts of the US you can do it, namely New York. And the closest thing I guess you can say is would be the farmer's market, but you don't really sell as much food as more fresh produce. Because here in the US, there's a lot of regulation when it comes to the food, like the FDA, and you need a license, you need a permit, all sorts of stuff. And it needs to be made in a particular set of environment. So call what you want. I prefer the East when it comes to this. So, I mean, trust me, if I, if my, me and my friends uh, can open up our, our own little store when we were like, what, in elementary school, middle school or high school and said we only sell, you know, some hot dogs and get some extra cash, we would do it already. But obviously we learned the hard way because we had a friend who tried to do that. She got, she got shut down. She didn't get arrested or anything, it's just, you can't do that, it is what it is, you need this, you need that. And you can't exactly do business when, you know, when you're like a, a kid. Cops are not going to arrest you or anything unless you will, you know, start attacking them, which usually doesn't happen. But again, it kills the entrepreneurial spirit that I think mm, I really had when I was little. And I really, really miss that. So another reason why in the East you can... You know, you can actually get a shop open up really, really easily. Where in the West, is a lot of paperwork and a lot of red tapes you need to jump through. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, trust me. If they some these night markets serve some of the the best food ever because it's basically open season where it you have all these competitors around you right who sell different things and if your food is not good no one's gonna come line up for your place it is really is just it is what it is your food is either good or it's trash that's it and usually they only take cash because you know rarely do they take credit cards yeah yeah i agree record but again, usually in the West. I don't know if it's the same thing with Europe or something. Um, it might be. Uh, I'm not sure about South America, but in the U.S. it's definitely not like that. I wish we had something. Uh, I wish we had something like that in the U.S. More horror game today? Yeah. I think we're going to uh, relax a little bit. It's Chillus Art. It's called The Convenience Store. Hey, we're playing a... Uh, so we're playing as a... A cashier, I guess. I don't see how it's going to be too scary, other than the fact that we're going to be alone. But, you know, <laughs> I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I say that a lot. But it'll, hopefully I can get some screams in. I'm still trying to uh, put my big, point, big boy pants on right now. Just trying to bear the weight of Bloodborne and Alien Isolation. The, the real, the big whore that's coming up, so... I always set myself up yesterday. <laughs> yeah, thanks. 7 Eleven? I think we're at a 7 Eleven on this one. Just like yesterday, right, Shrady? When I, you said, I think you said that for some reason I've been getting the, I've been going for all the, the most horrific endings. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, although it's just, what is it? What is that phrase called? Curiosity killed the cat? Well, apparently I have nine lives. <laughs> so. I'm always trying to like just, huh, that looks like a very dangerous situation, but maybe I should go check it out because it's funny. 
it's what I would do if I was actually watching a streamer or someone who playing horror game because it's interesting because I personally wouldn't go. I definitely personally wouldn't go. But there's that saying that Crack told me. Uh, um, he said that, man, you're playing like a goody two-shoe. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm, I'll, I'll prove you wrong. I'm, never, you're, I'm, playing it, I'm not going to play it safe. I'll just, you know. String works perfectly now. Yeah, I know, Wrecker, because I've switched my internet provider. Apparently, I was getting 600 download, only about 30 uh, upload for my old provider. And it crashes down to like three or five sometimes. And now I have 1,000. I have one gig download and one gig upload. So there's absolutely no excuse for me not to be able to stream at such a high rate. So this is actually the minimum. In fact, I could actually stream at 4K or 2K if I wanted to, but Twitch has a limit at 6,000 bit rate. So this is 6, 000, um, this is 1080p, 60fps is usually what I am allowed to do on Twitch since I'm multi-streaming. Yeah, I have one gig, one gig download. Obviously, it's gonna it's hits one gig sometimes, but it's like usually 950, 960 somewhere around there. And it's the same upload speed. Welcome to America, Wrecker. I am paying a pretty penny for this, but it is cheaper than my old plan. My old plan tried to charge me over a hundred. Now I'm paying about eighty. So and they're sending me some gift cards too, four hundred dollars. So I got a pretty good deal on it. So I'm gonna be using some of that for the VR when it when I do, if I do buy, of course. So. 10 different princesses that I've never saw. I think I've seen enough, Shrady. Uh, seeing her stabbing me over and over again, betraying her and having her slicing her own head off and then her mutilating and stuff. <laughs> I, as soon as I finished uh, uh, yesterday, I kind of uninstalled the game. So that was enough. That was enough traumatic moments for me. It's not like horrific, like Alien Isolation, where it's like, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Again, it goes all the way back to what was it, uh, Monica? Except Monica was actually obviously prettier to look at. You didn't even see the Nightmare Princess. Would <laughs> have been fun. I don't think I want to see it. What was the princess game about? It's about me going and slay the princess, really. And then, it, depending on each scenario and depending on the choices we make, uh, we get a different kind of princess. We could be spare her. We could be uh, hostile towards her, depending on the dialogue. And in the end, we had to get about five endings in order to get the full ending. Or maybe just a regular ending. Gods killing gods. Yeah, pretty much. It's something about it being the god of change and the god of, of nothingness. Kind of like, you know, the narrator was really the bad guy in my opinion. Because I think the narrator was the one that split us into two beings. The two beings being the main character that we play as, and the other one being the princess. So, I didn't really 100% under, uh, understand it, but that's what you get. And in the end, I spared the princess because, from what I understand, is that they're both they're the yin and yang of each other, the light and the dark, and one should not exist without the other. Was he the bad guy? Well, I think he was the bad guy. But at the end, at the end of the road, it's... It's all relative. It's all about perspective. The game even tells you that. It's like there are no wrong choices. There are no right choices either. It's just depending on what you think. And I think that, you know, if it's the yin and yang of the main character and the princess, I decided to just keep them together. And that's it. I think my ending was pretty good. <laughs> Shady probably wanted to do it. I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, can explain a lot better to me. Dander wanted to save his world, to preserve it. Yeah, but the world that his, he's trying to preserve at the expense of our world. Because if we kill the princess, then we'll be left alone. Alone by... It'll be nothing but... It, was, it just becomes nothingness. So, again, it's all about... I didn't 100% understand the, um, the perspective of that game. You guys might have to... If you want to learn about it, then you probably should not hear it from me. I was already disturbed enough by looking at the princess, the, the amount of things that we did to her. So I was like, no, <laughs> that's it. I do know that this game is m definitely not, uh, not going to be the, uh, hopefully not as psychological damaging as the other one, as princess. <laughs> 
Endless Void was better than Death itself. If that's the case, then I definitely think the narrator's view is skewed. Yeah, no one's evil, no one's good. Antagonist, yeah, I agree. Alright, let's do this, guys. I've held out long enough. So... It was. Again, it's all about perspective, Wrecker. Alright, let's do this. Okay, graphics, normal. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully it's, you guys can see it this time. There we go. The convenience store. Huh. Awesome, awesome. Oh, here we go, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nutmeg, and this is the convenience store. Brought to you by Chilla's Art. I really enjoyed his last game, which was the Shinkansen Zero. And... Um, it was inspired by Exit 8. So I'm looking... This one... I don't know if it's going to be the same. I hope not. But I think this is more going to be more aligned with Fears to Fathom. Albeit, I think the graphics might be a little bit better, based on what I've played. So, how is gonna this game going to be scary? Other than the fact that we are at a convenience store, and it's dark. Mm, I'm going to guess, is this... Because if it's following... If it's going to follow... Um, fears to Fathom. So, if it follows that, then there shouldn't be any sort of supernatural horrors. It's more of like a stalker, or a burglar... Or intruders kind of thing. And if that's the case, it's also scary. But when it comes to Japanese horror, then it's either usually stalker. So if we're playing as a girl, it might be a stalker. Or it could be a ghost. I do not know. But I've never played a haunted convenience. I've never heard of a haunted convenience store before. And then again, you got FNAF, which is a haunted mall. So you never know. All right, let's begin. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Okay, easy. Oh, it is definitely the same as Chilla's art, but it's uh, the graphics are a little bit better because I can actually see what the hell is going on. Uh, Fears to Fathom is more like. Uh, oh, we're playing as a girl. Okay, okay. Go back to sleep. Looks like we're playing as a girl. And by the state of this apartment, we are... Oh my, this is actually a pretty decrepit place. Where are we? Hello? Oh, is that the convenience store right there? Alright, I guess that's where we're going then. What is this doll looking thing? Anything here? Anything here? Anything here? Hmm. Alright, we're getting ready for change clothes. Uh, yes. Alright, let's go. We changed. This girl... Where are your parents, miss? Are you living on the countryside, or what's going on? Any food? No? Okay. Oh, man. Now, from an Asian perspective, this is... Uh, the def okay, it's a... Sh it looks like a sh common... Okay, okay. Where's the flashlight? Oh, there it is. Wow. This... You know, something about, uh, I just noticed that sometimes when you play horror games like this, you think the flashlight helps you. It doesn't. It actually makes things scarier. Anything here? Hello? This is, reminds me a bit like those Kaolong cities in, in Asia where it's like a shared bathroom. It's very, very poor. Insulated. Yeah, trash bag. I know this. Now that I lived in these, though. Alright. 
toilet. Oh my. For Japan, I honestly thought it would be a squatting toilet instead of these Western ones. Yeah, there's no... They, there's not even a mirror here. And inside is just a room. This might as well just be a closet. Hey, Pancake. Good to see you, buddy. Better better not be a jump scare. Okay. Eating? Okay, okay, okay. Girl, you're hungry. What are we eating now? I'm gonna close this door just... Okay, so we're gonna cook something? Hello? No? Hello? Oh, microwave. Oh, well, nothing much. Microwavable food. Well, good to see you, Pancake. It's always a pleasure to king to king uh tan tan man's Tim the Tat Man? Is that what you you mean? Guys, this is highly debatable. Shady, what you said about the toilets, right? Like in Asia, I know still a good amount of plays prefer the squatting toilets over this one. The thing with squatting toilet is that I always have a fear of slipping into it. You're not gonna die, but man, imagine having your foot stuck in where everyone, where all the piss and poop goes. It's not good. And also, technically, squatting is the better position uh, for taking a dump. Not to mention the fact that because you squat, you actually get a workout and uh, you get the hell out of the toilet faster, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see. Eat bento. Yes. Was that bento from the convenience store? You think that we could, you can actually just eat there, you know? You remember someone dropping their phone in the toilet? Oh, geez, that's that's usually the worst. All right, let's go to work, guys. Better not be someone right at that door. Okay, all right, we're good. Wow. You know what? If this is what Japan looks like at the dead of the night, maybe I should reconsider visiting there. Can we run? We can. Wow. This is pretty much just Silent Hill. Maybe it's... Look at this place. Look, I'm not dogging the artistic style of Japan, but... I don't want to live here. This is so eerie. Like, I don't want to be here. Can I jump down? No. I mean, oh, I mean, what if a ghost or a stalker comes in? Oh, there's the stairs. This could easily fit the definition of a haunted town. I feel so uneasy just walking around here. It's so dark, too. You know what? If there's even, like, any sort of collectibles, then I don't... Ah, 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 maybe I shouldn't go there. What's this game about? Uh, we're just working at a convenience store, apparently. Right now, we're going to work. I know the graphics aren't super impressive, but you know, honestly, I don't think it needs to be. <laughs> Alright, that's where we were, and I remember it. No, oh, man. This has got to be the countryside. I don't think. This has got to be the countryside. Hey, Poi, welcome. <laughs> the game just started, and I'm already like. A little bit nervous. We're playing the convenience store. And we're going to play a cashier. Working at a night shift at a 7-Eleven, I guess. Oh, hello? I'm not sure if I should talk to you, but... Hello? You look... Normal? I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Wh yeah! Okay, sir. If you want to smoke a weed, you know it's illegal in Japan, right? But 
Oh, man. Maybe he really is just trying to tell me something. Interesting. <laughs> Pixelated drinks right here. Hello? What do you mean, day of judgment? Maybe, maybe I, let, let's hear you out. Bring me food. Or you will receive eternal punishment. Okay. Okay, okay. If that's all it takes, then that's uh, it's pretty easy. Hello? Excuse me. I'd like to buy something. Oh, God, you made it. Huh? Oh, no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. You're effing with me, right? I'm gonna call you... Larry. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Larry, I'm not interested in your Reddit story. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. Yeah, of course. Ha ha ha. Sorry. This guy's a dick. Alright. What the hell do we need to do here? Let me uh explore a little bit. How do I get food? Okay, the frozen stuff. You got your anime girl magazines. What is this? Thank you for always keeping the toilets clean. Oddly convincing. Got a smoking panda as a sign. Man, this toilet is actually better than my, how my house. You know what? Maybe he working here really isn't such a bad idea. You want to call him Bob? I don't mind it. I call him Larry, but Bob, fine. I mean, does this look like a Bob or a Larry? Bob would be a little bit more big, but he looks like a Larry to me. But Bob it is. Anyways, welcome, Determination. What is all this? Shelf looks fine. Okay. The shelf looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Oh, okay. Shelf looks fine. What is this? Oh, convenient. You got like croquettes and freaking on onigiris right here, which are rice balls, by the way. Oh, man. You're making me hungry. Uh, guys, I mean, tell me about it. You saw where she lived, right? It, it was a dump. So it kind of makes sense to be working a sh working in a convenience store like this because you got food, you got really good toilets. The only place that's missing is a shower, but I don't even remember a shower there. I mean, hell. Do you guys have... What is this? Oh, you got Odin. Oh, that's delicious right there. Oh, I love Odin. All right, we, we're supposed to get some uh, some food for for the guy who's warned us about the Day of Reckoning. Okay, looks like there's nothing back here. Oh, there's a door. Did not see that. Okay, nothing back here. Transformers, looks like the AC trash. What is that? Oh, shoot. Something happened here. Can I go in? I cannot. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. All right. I have a feeling that something is going to bad. It's going to pop out from there. Just a warning. Anything else in here? Nothing. Just a car. Whose car is this? All right, let's get to work. All right, just in case, guys. By the way, I have never uh, worked at a, as a cashier in a convenience store before. Oh, oh, there we go. Bob, are you okay? Let me look at your face. <laughs> oh, this face. It looks like he just took someone's... Uh, Chillis just took someone's random ass face and plastered on a blank model. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's completely flat, too. His glasses is stuck onto his face. Oh, Bob. All right, you got some cigarettes right here. Dude, I, I would kill for these. Odin. Mm, that's freaking delicious. By the way, if you don't know what Odin is, it's kind of like a hot pot. You got like fish tofus and other stuff in there, sausage, 
and you got this delicious broth with, uh, I guess those are tamago, which are eggs. And you could have with noodles or just by itself. Oh, it just warms you up. It's so good. And you got steam buns right here. Alright. What is this? Computer? CCTV? Okay. Oh, we're going back to Five Nights at Freddy's again. Oh, yeah, I gotta watch this one. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. Got it. Right mouse click to. Okay, got it. What is this? I think some of the foods are expired by the time you're, you start your shift. Bob, why didn't you do your job? Can you take them off our shelves for me? Bob, why did you not? Your manager. God. All right, uh, what is this? Punch card? Ah, okay. Yeah, very simple, very typical. Hey, Happy, welcome. Bob, don't leave me! Man, look at him, walking like a stud. I'm gonna spy on you. I'm... Bob, where do you live, Bob? Okay, he lives out that way then. So far, nothing scary is happening. Uh, what was our doing again? All right, expired food. Sounds good, love, and welcome, V. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, give me one sec, sir. I'll be right with you. I need to uh. Oh, that was Bob's car. Got it. Ah, okay. Are these expired? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Would you like these? <laughs> All right. Anything else in here? You got canned food. Okay, nothing. Expired magazines? Nope. Anything in here? I'll be right with you, sir. Give me one sec. Please be patient. Is this it? What? Okay. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, we can give this to the homeless man. I forgot. I'll be right back, sir. Please don't steal money from the register. What the heck? How did I get stuck? Oh, I can't go through there. Can I go through here? Okay, here you go, sir. I got a big giant bag of expired food for you. I know they're not the freshest, but please spare me during Judgment Day. Give expired food. Yeah. Yo, dude. How about a thank you? Or you're forgiven. Hey, man. What's your problem? Hello? Oh, what a dick. I'll be alright with you, sir. Uh, uh, how do I drop the truck? I can't. Sue Sankyu's choice? Hell. Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay. Alright, whatever. Let me ring this guy up first. Trash can wait. Hello. Mata ne. Mata ne. Konpan wa. Mata ne. Mata ne, by the way, guys, means uh, see you later. Yeah, so far, so good. I don't feel that bad about working at this convenience store. Coming through. Trash. You know what? Since this girl is poor, I would take the, tr the trash home. I mean, this is just a waste of food. I know it's expired, so you can't sell it. But then again, uh, just because the food is expired, especially if it's hot food, then that doesn't mean that it's bad. Now, if they, if they smell, then that's bad. I'm just being a good uh, cashier. Alright, we're good. Okay. Da, da, da. Shelf looks fine. Okay, that looks good. 
Some cute choice. What else do I need to do here? Cashier. I rarely buy magazines. You don't probably don't have the money to, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Why would you buy that? Look at this guy's. Do I look a bit like him? He's got that Justin Bieber vibe look to him. <laughs> nah, we buy this one. Uh, Makan something. I don't know what it's called. Hello? 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 Anyone here? 13 bucks an hour night shift. Well, is that worth it? This is the reason why I'm here. <laughs> is it worth it? It's better than minimum wage. Alright. Anything happening here? Not really. Option under the tree? I don't know. What tree are you talking about? Hello? Huh. Thought I saw something. Alright, check the CCTV. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Got a delivery man. Okay. Coming! Night shift isn't that bad. I actually thought about working a night shift at Walmart. And all you really do is just restock stuff. It's actually not that bad. Hello? Under the tree is a song? Oh, my bad. Alright, it's kind of late for a delivery man at this hour, huh? You're not my stalker, are you? Please don't tell me you're my stalker. We re recently incorporated the system exclusive for, exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is sh directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. Excuse me? I think this is for you. Someone shipping something to me where I work. Well, this is not suspicious at all. Take it home? No. But I probably have to, huh? To expand the game. Hello? Whoa. Ah! Did that micro just turn on by itself? And why is my door open? Turn it off, turn it off. Hey. What? Do I have any food? No, I do not have any food. Hello? What is going on here? Why did I just teleport back here? I remember closing these doors when I went out, didn't I? Flashlight? Yes. There was something on the bed, too. Don't know what it is, though. A vid VHS tape? What the frick? Oh, guys, this is where I think it's going. This is a t very typical Japanese uh, horror thing. <laughs> a haunted videotape. What are you looking at? Sadako? Sayako? Normally, I would just toss this in trash. Guys, if you ever received a DVD or a cassette uh, in the mail and it looks suspicious, uh, it could be a snuff film, it could be something adult related, just toss it away. It's not wise to watch it, but, you know, we're, we're, I'm really stupid, so let's do it. All right, watch it closely. Watch it closely. We're going to get all the way up to the freaking... Watch closely. Yes, we are. We're going to watch it extremely closely. Something's going to pop up. <clears throat> Nani? What is this place? What was that? And now I am cursed, guys. Again, curiosity kills the cat. Never be curious. You should stay in your lane. I mean, I don't know what's behind this door though. Could be this could be my stalker. <clears throat> Anyways. Jump scare. No. Oh! Someone with a bad sense of humor. But it always start out like these, uh, like this record when it, uh, with these Japanese horror novels. 
I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I think I grow some balls. Oh my god. Is it me or does it get darker? What is this? Holy crap. It was really foggy and now it's like super dark. I can barely see anything. I can barely see two foot in front of me. I mean, a stalker could easily come on, come, come around the corner. I think this is actually more scary than the convenience store. In fact, I can't wait to get to the convenience store. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, girl. Start running, start running, start running. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Please, let's go. Watch where you're going. Try not to trip. Uh, don't talk to any stranger while on the way. Where the hell am I now? Oh, there it is. We gotta be on the freaking countryside because look at we got all these lights. Then they do they don't do anything. Oh god! All right, come on, come on, just get me to the store. Just get me to the store, please. Where's the bridge? Where's the bridge? There it is. There it is. Go, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. It's just the noise. It's the cicadas, so it's the summer, so we're all good here. What? What? Where is this? Where am I? Am I lost? Oh my god. Hello? Anyone home? Oh god, I really just stopped exploring. Look guys, I just... I'm just a night shift girl. I'm just... Trying to work the night shift. I mean, yo. Do we? Okay, maybe just follow the lights. Follow the lights. Follow the lights. I think I'm going around in circles. I can't see anything. Okay, just follow the lights. Follow the lights. This looks like the the the, the place to go. Okay, here's the bridge. Okay, we got it. Oh. Okay. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. Yes. Oh, where's the uh, homeless man? Alright, I'm just gonna go and check if there's anything back here. No, 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 no. Uh, don't be curious, don't be curious. Let's just go. Alright. God, look at this whole place. It's complete darkness. Oh. Hey, Bob. There you are. How are you doing? You better not jump scare me. Hey, hey, so I heard you reported that the, the doors would open on their own. Did I? Did I report that? Oh, well, we got a good guy to check the sensors. It seems like the wiring were loose. Okay. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? <laughs> I see those t on TV all the time. But they're all scripted. Go sudden real after all. <laughs> oh, you say that. I hope you're telling the truth, Bob. All right, what are we? What's our what's our goal in this one? I clean the bathroom, restock the shelves. Oh, what is this? What's that? What does zero out of six mean? I have no idea what this means. Is this a shampoo bottle? Oh, it's rats. Oh, it's rats. Oh, it's rats. Ah, okay, never mind. Maybe this is what you need to do on this one. Looks like this place is still sealed. Is there any rats in there you want me to clean, Mr. Ghost? Uh, oh, another rat. It was opening on its own yesterday? Oh, I didn't see that. Alright, any more rats? We've got two more. Is that one? Nope. Rats. There you go. I got one more. There we go. <laughs> Just trade. <laughs> what is this? It's trading the rats like cockroaches. What are they going to eat? All right. Anyways, let's go. We're all good here. Hey, why didn't you kill the rats for me? Would you please punch in? I would like to punch you, Bob. How would you like that? Got a punchable face. Oh. 
Here. Here. How do I swing you? Alright, alright. Punch in. Jeez. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I mean, those rats did not stand a chance. I mean, that's some powerful stuff right there. It's not like they're cockroaches. Imagine if you use that on a human. Ooh, maybe we should use that on a human. Saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have let the garbage bin open. It wasn't me, boss! First person you see this note has got to get rid of those rodent ASAP. Your manager. Bob! What the hell is your problem? Why didn't you kill the rats? <sighs> Whatever. Punch in. Yes. Alright, let's get out of here. Did your freaking job for you. Just the way he walks. Oh, maybe Bob is the stalker. Alright, so we now did all of our jobs. Uh, I kind of did the uh, job before I have even started, so what now, game? What do you want me to do? Keep checking the surveillance system or something? Security five times. Okay, whatever. Okay, just gotta keep our eyes out on this part. I'm watching that very, very corner very closely. I'm guessing something's gonna pop out. Not from the trash, but from where all those yellow tapes are. There's no need to watch any of this crap. Oh. Hello? Who's that? Alright, looks like we got a customer. I am probably the best cashier that's ever <laughs> been in this town. I'm so good. I did my job before I even started my shift. Alright, let me out of here. Oh, it's an old lady. Hello, miss. How are you? Wow, look at that face. That's some nice bazookas right there. I bet you were got you were quite the looker back in the days. <laughs> what the hell? Did she just walk through the door? Hello? Yo! Lady! Are you the ghost? Cause she just literally waltzed through the door. Can I help you, lady? I'll grab whatever you like for you, since you're a handicap. Okay, she's definitely the, a ghost because she's waltzing right through the ATM machine as well. What do you need, lady? Cat food? A bra? <laughs> Your pills? Diapers? I'm just trying to help you out here, lady. She's got places to go. I wonder where. Jeez, there could be one place. Miss? Here, I'll even get the door for you. What happened to... Oh, there it is. There you go. You're welcome. That'll be five bucks for your service. Do you need some help in there? You want me to go in there with you? Oh, I'll take that as a no. Okay. At least we're not alone here. Better not take too long in there. I swear, if I... If I have to, like, find a dead body... This will be the last time I... Oh, we got another customer coming in, looks like. Again, guys, nothing scary so far. It's just a night shift. I mean, technically, I work night shift, too. Except I do it at my house. What's up, bro? What do you need? What do you need? What do you want? Hi. I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Excuse me? Sir, this is a convenience store, not your fucking daycare. Why don't you grab it yourself? Hey, Blocks. Welcome. Tomorrow is Saturday for me. So, again, I'll be doing VR chat. Hopefully, you guys can, all of you guys can join me, though. I'm looking forward to it. Hurry up. Yo, have you guys, anyone here, actually waltz into a convenience store and ask the clerk or the manager to say, Hey, grab me, uh... Uh, grab me my groceries for me. What the f freak? This is cigarettes. All right here. Man. Or is this only related to Japan? 
If I swear. Of course I swear. I mean, this guy waltzed in and just says, Hey, grab my groceries for me. Want me to clean your butt for you? For <sighs> Go get it yourself. Yeah, that's what I said, girl. Uh, Which are these? Which of these are beers? This? This? Oh, this. Cute. Oh, well. Are you kidding me? We gotta grab one at a time. Here. Dude, you can just grab it all yourself. I live in Asia, and I don't remember convenience store managers grab your own groceries for me. This is quite new to me, though. I imagine it. Guys, if you ever go, uh, just go to your local 7-Eleven. I'm not talking about, like, your your Walmarts or something. Just go to your local 7-Eleven or convenience stores and say, Hey, grab me, like, five cans of beer. <laughs> They're gonna probably spit in your face. Now, if it's like a cigarette, ca uh, because it's behind the counter, then I understand. But asking me to grab beer from the fridge for you, this basically just tells me he's trying to rob the place. This is kind of weird. I can grab one beer at a time. Here, I hope your beer gets cold by the time you drink it, dipshit. Now, scan. Man, what is this guy's problem? Well, at least he's... I thought he was going to rob me, but... Huh. I guess this is Japan. Uh, so, the crime rate in Japan is actually quite low. At least compare... Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Now, buzz off. What a dick. Oh, speaking of that, the lady's back. Lady, did you do anything in there in the bathroom that I shouldn't be looking at? Why is she stopping there? You didn't... No, please. Please don't mess up the bathroom floor. Hello? Uh... Oh boy. You mean I have to clean up what, you, what the mess you left behind? Huh? Where's Cancun? You know where Cancun is? It's in Mexico. Cancun, you mean? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. Excuse me? Miss, this is a convenience store. What did you do? Oh, how dare you? Ex Miss? Are you okay? What? You got some thick ass leg, lady. Like I said, you must have been some nice. You must have been looked pretty good back in the day. Alright. What what the hell? Oh no. Don't tell me he she like sprayed her ash the ashes of her daughter or son in the other. <sighs> ah! Oh, that that kinda scared me. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, man, Japan has got the most advanced toilets in the world, guys. You got something like this, which actually shoots water up your butt. It's called the bidet, I believe. I really, really want to try one of these. Stop it, no one's here. Hey, VR. Welcome. <laughs> Is that right, Blocks? I'm trying to keep my swearing down, but... Uh, ghosts just scares me. What the heck? Hello? Got the door again. Are you kidding me? Well, tune in to my stream. Then. Why is this door all screwed up, all janky? What is that static noise? Hello? Oh! What was that? I saw a kid! There was a kid right down there! And then ran away.
Was that kid a ghost or something? Maybe the ghost is like playing tricks on me. Maybe the ghost is just like Casper saying, huh, wants to say hi. So we got nothing to worry about, really. All right. Anything else I need to do for the night game? Hello? Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah, jump scared myself. Ah, you again. Is that right? Is he's in Okinawa, right, VR? What are you doing here? What do you want? Good to see you again. Okay. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyways, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. What package? We got a package? What package? You have a package back there? What? What was that there before? Okay. I'm a little bit uh confused. Hey Wolf, good to see ya. Alright, here's your package. Hmm. A little bit weirded out, but nothing too bad. I mean, let, let me just check this one more time, just in case. Okay, he's gone. Any ghost? Hello? I'm expecting a jump scare when I look at the camera sometimes. It's like if you switch right here, like switch to a camera like this or like this, and all of a sudden the ghost just pops from the beat, from the bottom. I, I think that's gonna what's gonna happen. Hey Dubby, welcome buddy. Good to see you again. Some rats. Manager, blah blah blah. I'm a little bit confused on what to do in this game. That's it. Oh! Ha! Ah, ha! I don't know what's going on. Okay. That was it. Second night. How many nights are there? How many nights are there? What is this? Oh, an umbrella. Okay. Do you change nothing? <laughs> Please. Oh. Okay, okay. It's just a knock. It's just a knock. Coming. Okay, it's just a knock. Nothing is in the bathroom. Nothing is in the kitchen. Open it. Wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. Who's sending me these tapes? Oh, this is a bad idea. Maybe close the door first. Well, what if I need to get out? So let's keep the door open then. Very bad idea, very bad idea, very bad idea. Watch closely. All the way to your face. Jump scare coming. Hmm? Was that it? Girl, why would you open your umbrella inside your own apartment? I swear, this girl is already cursed. Because if you keep watching these tapes, which we are going to do because I'm stupid. 
Um, we're gonna die. Jump scare. No. Okay. Ah. Ah. It's even darker this time. Alright, let's just, uh... Just get down there. Follow the lights. Because it's the only thing we can see. Can't fool me this time. Alright, this is where we go down. No. Yo, this town... Is this the, the origin of Silent Hill? <laughs> it all started with a convenience store. Alright, 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 alright. Let's follow the lights. Go to the where the lights are. You can easily get kidnapped or assaulted here. Alright, follow the lights, follow the lights. Follow the lights, follow the lights. Oh girl, please be safe. I don't know your name, but I'm worried about you. <sighs> you could have just called off work today though. Okay, okay, I'm here. <sighs> Bob? Oh no. Did he die? Is he in the bathroom? I think he's in the bathroom. Why is it raining in here? Oh, weird. Bob? What's with this giant stain? Why is it raining in here? It's just weird. Huh, what is that? Okay. Hey, we got raindrops coming in here. Oh, three stocking. That's easy. <laughs> Where does this go? Where do these go? It's gotta be here, right? No? Okay, where did these go then? Uh, goes if you're watching me. Oh, is it here? No? As you can see, I'm just a, uh... Innocent little girl working the night shift. I have nothing to do with your death or whatever. What? What, am I not supposed to put that there? Okay, whatever. I might as well just punch in the card first then. Okay. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Damn you, Bob. I got you good, huh? Up yours. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I'm gonna report you to HR. Promise I won't do it again. Do it. And I'll shove your head into that toilet. Dick. Products were missing on the shelf. Anyways, keep the shelves full. That's our motto. Please restock by tomorrow morning. Your manager. You know what, guys? I have a great idea. Um, I cannot... Bob will not go until we punch the card in, right? So what if we just keep in here with us as a meat shield or, you know, insurance? And that way we're technically not alone. Y you know what I mean? It just It's just my train of thought. Hey, Soul, you're a new sub. I'm doing well. Thanks for coming in. And of course, thank you for the sub. As always, I am more of a chatter than a gamer. And... Ah! Ah! Fuck! What is this? Why is there like raindrops inside the bathroom? This place really is haunted, huh? Where am I supposed to put this? Anyways, so I am more of a chatter than a gamer. Q to drop? Is it this? 
Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> what? Bob! This isn't funny! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Bob! What the F? Huh? Bob! What the F was that? Alright, uh, uh, you know what guys, I'm just gonna take the- I don't wanna- I don't like going back here. And so I'm gonna take the items. And I'm gonna- What is this? Another one? I'm gonna- Which one is it? Oh, we got- Customer? I'm just gonna put all these back here. I don't like- I don't like going back here. I'll be right with you! What happened during the- my- <laughs> I don't- <laughs> I'm just an innocent little girl trying to- Oh, hello. How are you? I'll be right with you, sir. Oh, man. I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? I don't know. Your boss seemed desperate to keep in... Desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know? Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check outside units and head out. Oh, are you gonna be the guy that dies? See, we got three guys now. I don't I don't feel so bad right now. I don't feel so bad. Because we got three guys in here. Alright, this has gotta be it. Restock? Yes. Alright. We're gonna keep Bob here with us as long as we can. <laughs> so he works double the shift. We stock, yes. Alright, where where does this one go though? Where does this one go? It looks like this is Is it here? We oh it is here. Okay, okay. Got it. I don't know. I was just randomly clicking. We're gonna keep we're gonna again we're gonna keep Bob here. Uh just because he was a dick. Uh, Mr. Ghost, please. If you wanna kill anyone, please kill Bob. Uh he won't be missed. Okay, everything's all good. <gasps> oh! 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 Did you guys see that? There was a, there was a kid crawling where all those yellow signs are. Mister, mister, you are in danger. You are in danger. Hold on. I'm coming to save you. Wait, Bob? Oh, there you are. You hold the fort. I'm coming to save you, Mr. Uh, air conditioner guy. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. I get a flashlight and an umbrella. Yo. Yo! Yo! Okay, so he's alive. <clears throat> Alright, gonna do something really... What is that? A hatchet. How do I kill Bob with this? Are we supposed to kill Bob with this? Oh, no. Can we actually go inside now? Woo! Woo! This is a bad idea. So let's do it. I got a wrench, guys! A bike? Storage room? Jump scare. Can't open it. Better not be jump scare. Hello? Crack the window open. Okay. Okay. Don't come any closer. 
Okay. <laughs> Alright, Bob is still here. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay, that was the scariest thing. Yes, ma'am, I have a wrench. Would you like to buy it? <laughs> oh, God, the graphics. <laughs> ah, hello. I'll be right with you, miss. I like how Bob is the only one standing here doing absolutely freaking nothing. All right, I'll ring you up, lady. Cue to drop the item. Okay. There you go. You have a good day, miss. Hey, are you the only one working here? Well, Bob is right beside me. I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on the midnight shift alone? I know, right? But she, he pays me 13 bucks an hour, so... Something. I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. What is this gonna do? Now, be careful. Thanks. Okay, I mean, I could just, I don't know, use it as a... Throw at the... Ghost or Bob or something. Hey, Adrian, welcome. Alright, how do I kill Bob with this? Bob! Uh, uh, come here! That's the word you get. All right, get out of my face. All right, products were missing from half the shelf. Blah blah blah. I got it. I got it. I need this wrench. Cause now I feel safe. Bob, don't leave me, please. Please don't leave me. Actually, you know, if you had a computer here, you could play, you know, World of Warcraft, SimCity. This is actually a pretty dope job. After you're done, like, all the restocking and stuff, and you're welcome to have all these kind of foods, if you are up to it. Uh, Alright. I don't know, just keep checking the tea, uh... Let's check the TV. Alright, there's Bob's car. Oh, I'm watching you. I'm watching this very closely. Very, 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 very closely. You're gonna pop up any minute now. Uh, probably an hour, Adrian. Ow. Why is it raining inside? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see raindrops popping in through the roof. It's just weird. 83 minutes? <laughs> Feels longer. I'll, I wouldn't say this game is scary. It's just more eerie and creepy. And it's every time I feel uh, scared, usually it's like, uh, you know, I, I talk a lot. I scream and I talk a lot. All right, what else do I need to do here, though? What am I missing? Does the shift just end after I... All right. Hello? Ah! Ah, oh, okay. Better go inside. All right, come on, come on, come on. What? Is the ghost boy using the bathroom? Is that why there's a stain there? This better not be one of Bob's tricks. Oh, man. We're gonna get locked in the bathroom, aren't we? Hello? Oh, no! Huh? Bob! Oh! Oh, no! Let me out! Let me out! I want out! I want out! Dude! Dude! Stop it! What the F is this? Who did that? 
I got a wrench, you know. Hey, Master Uguay. Welcome. What is that sound? I, I talked to you, Master Uguay, but... Excuse me? But I'm a little bit creeped out right now. Hello? Who? What? Someone was typing. Hello? Okay, okay. Is it this? Because it's illegal, Blocks. Ah! 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 Block, I knew it! I knew it! Oh! Ah! I have a wrench! Where's that fucking talisman? How do I get the talisman out? Switch weapon! Switch weapon! Switch weapon! Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Just stay in here and keep watching some movies. Put on Netflix. It will be okay. I'm not gonna get jump scared this time. What the fuck? Why is it all blurry? It's all blurry. It's all blurry. Okay, okay, okay. I think it means that I have to actually go out there and actually look at whatever that is. Okay. What is that? Lottery tickets? Pick up talisman. Where the frick is the talisman coming from? Where, where, did, where did they drop the... Where did that come from? Oh, an Asia talisman is actually used to like prevent ghosts, kind of like a seal, you know, like Pandora's the seal. Huh? Huh? Drop item. Oh. Hey! Uh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, do I put this on the toilet? Here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's not the toilet. It's not the toilet. If I was the girl, I'd probably just leave. Call the cops or something. Why is there... These stains are getting bigger. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I, I think we have to go back there and put on the talisman. Maybe in that... Oh, my God. Um, but I just want to make sure. Uh, just want to make sure. Okay. It's still blurry. Something's wrong. Ah, uh, maybe the town here. Hello? Ah, uh, maybe in the bathroom. Eat this. Are we good? No. All right. All right. Fine. All right. Fine. I'll, I'll go to the the back. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you. It's just a damn ghost playing tricks on me. Who cares? I don't care. Exercise the door? Yes. Are we all good? Okay, just, just. GTFO! GTFO! G 
Die DFO. All right. Look, I'm just a convenience store worker. What do you want from me? But if, but if you want some food, I mean, we got plenty right here. I'm keeping the door open for a reason. You know, if you ever want some food, Mr. Ghost. All right, give me this. Get pick up the goddamn. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit safer. I'm feeling a little bit better. All right, let's check it out one more time. It's still not an. Why is it still blurry? Something's up. I don't get this night. Maybe try fixing the camera. It's a good idea. Um, look to the door. Well, I'll. Well, I gotta fix the. Okay, middle of the shelf. Got it. And then look through the door. Look to the door. CCTV. This door. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Fix the camera. All right, one, two, there's the camera. How do we get up there though? I don't think we're like six foot five. Okay, maybe there's a ladder. Excuse me, do you have a ladder in here? No ladder. Oh God, how about a chair? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, okay. Got it. Excuse me, can I That's not a ladder. That's not a ladder. Excuse me. Can I borrow a ladder? Mr. Ghost. I'm no longer afraid or anything. I'm just kind of annoyed. I just want to get out of my shift and go to the next day and move on with my life. And hopefully you can do the same. No ladder out here. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? I just saw like some kind of option that just popped up. Hello? What's that? Okay. Throw it? Is that you, Chasen? Or K-Man? Throw what? Inside. God damn. I can't see anything. Uh, I'm, uh, oh man! Did you? I throw the winch. I'm supposed to throw away the winch. I've not I played it. Anyway, it was welcome, Fox. All right, all right, all right. What do you guys want me to throw it outside? The wench is my only weapon. Why would I throw it away? But I saw some option here. Oh! Open the AC? Yes. Ah, okay. So now what? 
What's that? A key? <gasps> oh my god. Am I supposed to go into that damn room? This is all so random. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost. Room service. Oh, this is such a bad idea, but I can't end the night like without going in. I'm sorry, Mr. Ghost. I'm coming in! Ah! There was a dude that literally just disappeared. Four? Yo, you were just standing! Hello? Rats everywhere. It looks like you are a... The letter four in Asia, China, Japan is means associated with death. By the way, it's also a, an unlucky number. Uh, do you also? Is this Bob's? Is this one of Bob's pranks? Manager, the manager. Hello. Hello. Am I stuck here? Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Hello. What do I do? Open the door. Open the door. What do I do? Videotape? <laughs> Please! I'm only working on 13 dollars an hour! Please stop! Let me out of here! Oh! Hey! Stop banging the goddamn door! Let me out! Ah, go! Fuck! Open the door! Please! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Bad time for a frack. Okay. Um. Uh. I quit! $13 is not worth it! But it's not like I have a choice, do I? Girl, if I were you, I'd just stay home. Oh, another... Oh, yeah, we're cursed. We're cursed. We're so cursed. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's watch the goddamn cut. I don't want to... I don't want to watch. What am I looking at here? Someone's bed? No. Protect me. Anything. Oh well. Whatever. I'm just gonna work. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Who cares? Was that the manager though? Alright, alright. Pick up the flashlight. Sure, why not? I can't believe we're still going to work. I can't believe. This is one dedicated worker right here. One very dedicated worker. How many f Oh, guys. Maybe this is the last night. I'm, just, I'm guessing it might be the last night because the number four. So there's four nights. You know how if you've ever seen that movie, The Ring, The Ringu, with that creepy-ass girl that comes out of the TV? That's seven nights. Uh, then you die. So I'm guessing... Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. I'm sorry to make you watch the tapes. Um, she's going to die in... Uh, this is the fourth night in... Uh, I'm sorry. It's just how life works that way. Uh, we're gonna go say hi, Bob. Say hi to Bob one last time. Yeah. If it's the last night, I'm also eat as much as I can, <laughs> as much things as I can. I want that Odin. I want the Onigiri. I want everything. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I heard that it was actually cheaper to. 
eat these kombinis. Like eating out is actually cheaper than cooking food at home. That's just one of the things I've heard about Japan. You know what? I better get a raise after this. $13 is not worth it. I don't know if 13 is an unlucky number in Asia, but uh, it certainly is an unlucky number in America. And if you didn't know, by the way, 6666666, continuous 6 is uh, is actually uh, evil in the West, but in China, don't know about Japan and Korea, but 66666 is actually a lucky number. It's pretty much backwards. Bob, I swear to God, if you're going to jump scare me one last time, I'm going to... I'm going to quit. Alright, where is it? Bob? Bob? Bob's not here. Are you in the... Are you there? You're in the locker, aren't you? Bob? He's here. I mean, that's a, that's a milk card. And there's... Oh, there's no punching card. Or anything to do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why the hell did we come in here anyway? Oh, this is fixed. Hello? Okay, this might be the most terrifying night. I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Oh, where's that bloody wrench? I still have the talisman, don't I? What the shit? Hello? I want to quit! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Hello? What is all this? Oh my god. I think the bathroom is fine. Oh god. What is all this? Okay, calm down. Calm down. It's just, um... It's just a bad dream. Oh shit, we're trapped in here. We're trapped in here. Fuck! Let me out! How do I get out? Turn on TV? No! Turn on TV? No! Oh! No! Huh? Bob! This is your idea of a joke! Oh! Kid? What was he looking at? Huh? He looks like a normal nice ghost. Ah, oh, there we go. What? I'm I'm so lost. Like, what do I do here? Why is he like just going around looking at TVs? Okay, it's gotta be like some kind of clue or something. This is not a grown ass man. This is a child. Hmm. 
Why does he look at that TV? Oh, maybe uh, turn the ones that he, turn on the TV that he's looking at. Maybe, maybe that's it. Try speaking with him. I think he's a ghost. I don't think. Like, here we go. See, see, look. Ah, uh, okay. So we're gonna go one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Top, top. This is the only way to get out of here. I don't see the ghost, though. We can only see the ghost through the lens, I see. So we're supposed to turn this one on. I forgot the other ones, though. We'll just go one at a time, then. Yeah, so he does not appear. Uh, he only appears when on camera. Okay, we're just... That one? Middle shelf, bottom right. Crap. I'm really bad at this. Crap. It's kind of dead. Yeah, I forgot. Damn it! I'm pretty sure this is the puzzle. I just wish the camera tells me exactly, because there's like three shelves. It's not exactly easy to spot where he's looking at. So he's not going to this one. This one, I'm sure that he has looked like. Look. Yeah, he's looking at that TV. So that's correct. Come on, where's the... There it is. Alright, which one are you looking at, kid? The very top? I'm so... I can't... I can barely see anything. Alright, this is the middle shelf. Alright. It's from the left, bottom, middle shelf. Okay, got it. I don't think we're sensing any danger. Is it this one? Jeez, there's a lot of choices here. Don't scream after this. Maybe another day. I don't think I'll be a very good at that game though. Don't scream. Alright, this give me a few sec guys, cause uh Need to concentrate here. So that one's right. Turn on all the TV. I don't think that's how it works. If that's easy, if that's how it works, then obviously I, I'll. That's easy. All right. See. Blue shelf. See which TV is he looking at? Top top shelf. Top shelf. To the back. It has to be all the way up. It's either like one of these. It's either this or that. I think it might be this one. Because I don't remember him stopping right here. Well. It's just the... Again. The very top. I don't know if it's the second shelf or, or the very back though. I know it's on the top. Middle. Excuse me? We didn't stop at that one? Okay. I got it. I got it. I think I got it. I hope I got it. It's the middle of one here, right? No. Is it this one or this one? And it's usually like this one. Ah, uh, I see. I can only turn on four at, uh, four at a time. Okay. Hey, bitter. Welcome. I wish I can talk a little bit 
more, but I'm actually just stuck on this puzzle right here. So forgive me. Which one is it? Is it this one? Thank you for understanding better. I think this is the last night. I'm pretty sure this is the last night. I'm certain this is the last night. Please let this be the last night. Or else uh, I don't want to look up a guide, but seriously. Bitter. I'll just call you bitter if that it's easier for me though. Alright, we got this we got the first one correct. What is that stuff on the floor? I'm pretty sure it's kind of either talisman or bones. All right. Did we get this one right? Because I can't see this one. It does look like we have the correct one. He didn't go all the way to the back. Okay. Now it's... Bottom... Bottom. Okay. And then the middle. Alright, let's do this. I'm tired of hearing this yeah, clanking sound. It's gotta be this one. And then it was like this one right here. Was it the top or the bottom? Or it's either the top or the shelf. I'm certain about the other two. I think I got this one right. It's the only one left on the bottom. Is it this one? Okay, it's not. Okay, we're gonna YOLO this. Cause I'm pretty sure we got all of it. All right. And last one should be here. Don't play security. I'll try. How about this one? Is it this one then? Alright, this puzzle is giving major... This one? I know it's... Uh, the first two is right. Kid didn't look down though. I did that. It's he didn't. <sighs> yeah, I did play security breach. Uh, I struggle with it a lot, but hey, it was a funny game. It made a lot of scares. This kid, the kid, the ghost must be looking at, must be face palming real hard right now. Again, I don't need it to be fed, spoon fed to me, but I'm pretty sure this is how you do the puzzle. Is that it? Oh! It didn't go out. We got four TVs on. What is that creaking noise? It's giving me... Oh shit! Oh shit! Can I get out now? Can I get out now? Oh no! Is 
someone taking a shit? Okay. Hello? Oh, it's that little kid. Um... Hi? What kind of creepy ass noise is that? Hello, can I help you kid? <laughs> huh? Hello? Okay. Okay. Oh! Customer! Thank God! Hello? I'll be right with you! Annoying kid again. Oh, I can't go in. Please. Don't, don't jump me. Don't jump me. Videotape. Oh! oh. Pretty sure this is the last night. Trash? Oh, I get it, I get it. We can either trash it. Uh, I'm guessing mail it to someone else. Return to sender. Or we can watch it. Or maybe we could just bake it. Microwave it. Nope. That's not the case. What is this? Pick up a flashlight? Yes. Are we... Can we go back to work? Cannot go back to work. So, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Logically, I would just bend the goddamn thing. Logically speaking, though. But I think the right thing to do is to send it back or ship it somewhere else. Because clearly, this is a curse. And if we play it one more time, we're probably dead. So, in other words, we're going to watch it. Because that's how we roll. Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Even tells you. Yeah, why not? God, we're stupid. Oh. Oh, that is creepy. Oh, God. Now what? Oh. Hello? Oh, why did I do that? Why did I decide to watch it? Hello? I... I... I LIVE! I can't move. Oh no. Hello? I don't have any controls, guys. I can't do anything. This girl's done for. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Did the ghost just come by and give me a blowjob? Oh wait, I'm playing I'm playing as a girl. Oh I knew that was gonna be a bad ending. <laughs> I knew it! The only way to stop the curse is probably send it off somewhere else. Oh <sighs> Well, that was creepy. It's not the scariest game, guys. But it certainly was a lot of fun. Um, man, <laughs> funny. 
You know what? Next time you lay in your bed, if I lay in my bed and a ghost come up to me like that with a long hair, I'm just gonna pull my pants down and do this. I wonder what the reaction's gonna be. <laughs> I'm, uh, if I'm gonna die, I might as well get one last thing, one last pleasure, right? Not as many jump scares as I thought. In fact, I jump scared myself more than that. I think Bob gave me the most biggest jump scare. But man, I, I just, I enjoy playing these kind of indie horror games. They don't give me any psychological drama. Not really. But it's fun. And it makes me all panicky. And uh, you get a variety of them. Well, guys, it's, uh, is there anything else we can do in this game? I'm not going all the way back just to pick. Yeah, I'm going to throw the uh, the I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm not going through it all again. I think we learned our lesson. The convenience store. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's go back to just chatting. What's going on, guys? What did I miss from chat? Because we had a couple of new people. We got Bitter and Soul. How are you guys doing? Cayman is here. Look up other endings if you want to know. I think that there's no need. I would think that if the if it's a good ending, then we just ship it back or destroy it. And that's it. <laughs> Not so much. <sighs> Anyways, Soul and Bitter and everyone else. I know Cayman or Jason. You coming in here, Adrian, of course. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> I'm not... I don't want to play, I want to play Roblox, but tomorrow, as promised, I promised Lilf that I will be playing VR chat. And some of you feel to join me via voice. And we're going to have some fun. <laughs> I hope. The last time it didn't end so well, but it was more on the technical difficulties. That's not what I'm worried about. It's more of some of the other stuff, you know? But yeah. I had, I had a lot of fun tonight. It was a good little scare. And then starting next week, uh, I'm going to be doing Bloodborne. I need to go back to that. Um, I need to go back to that game. I promised a couple of people, a couple of commenters, subs, that I would go back. They actually commented all the way back in December. And they told me, like, please go back. Please go back. And it's been like months. I was like, oh, I'll wait on it. But, uh, uh, Thank you so much guys for coming in tonight. You guys were wonderful. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys had a lot of joy. This is what my stream is about, guys. Soul Bitter, any, uh, everyone who's new here watching, please come watch me again. I do this every single night, seven o'clock central US time. And I basically either talk or scream. So hopefully you guys get, uh, get a lot of fun out of it. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys have a good night. Hope you guys have a good day and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.